What's up you guys? In this video, we're talking about what Warren Buffett is doing during this global pandemic. Do we know what stocks he's buying? Do we know what stocks he's selling? How is he positioning his company Berkshire Hathaway to actually come out ahead? And do we know his current strategies during this hard time? So I've done as much research as I possibly can and I'm going to share with you some of the interesting stances that Warren Buffett seems to be taking right now. Make sure to watch all the way through because it's always good to know what the best investor in the world is doing right now. I'll also go into the current company that he is heavily invested in, as well as how you can invest in his own performance as an investor. So a quick intro about who Warren Buffett is. He's perhaps one of the best and greatest investors in the world, and certainly one of the most influential and famous. Warren Buffett is currently the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, and he has a net worth of about $70 billion. He didn't make this money from a trust fund. He made this money investing in smart companies and understanding what gives real value to stocks. So first, First, I wanted to share with you guys the letter that Warren Buffett shared with his shareholders in 2008. 2008 was the last Great Recession and you can definitely see his optimism through his words. In the letter, Warren Buffett basically states that the US has gone through many other tough situations, some far worse, but we've overcome them all and in fact, we've improved by a lot through these obstacles. He says to trust the system and America's best days lie ahead. So as an investor reading this letter in 2008, you'd probably be like, oh man, things are so bad right now. I don't see how they're ever going to recover from this. But zoom out to 2020 and besides this pandemic, the US has seen tons and tons of growth showing that yes, his words were true. America's best days were ahead. Each year, Warren Buffett has four main goals four main objectives. It does not matter what type of market it is. Even in a market like this, it still applies. These are the rules that Berkshire Hathaway has used to become one of the most successful investment firms in the world. So the first rule is that they want to maintain their top tier financial position. They want lots of liquidity, modest liabilities, and many multiple sources of revenue and cash. Two, they want to find businesses with competitive advantages. If they're already investing in a company, they want to really build those advantages and really separate that company from the rest of the pack. Number three is they want to diversify and increase their streams of revenue. And number four, they want to take care of the employees and managers who have made Berkshire Hathaway such a successful company. You have to realize, yes, Warren Buffett is the head of Berkshire Hathaway, but a lot of his success is reliant on his actual employees and people who manage the money. These four reasons are clues as to why Warren Buffett came out of the 2008 recession so strong. He was able to restore confidence in the markets when they dropped in 2008 and was a key player in helping investors keep their cool. I mean, investing is a hugely emotional game and when you see huge drops, it's only human nature to get really scared and panic. A lot of it is out of your control and I think that's what made a lot of people so frantic during the 2008 recession. So keep these strategies in mind when you are researching Buffett and you are analyzing what strategies he is using currently. Overall, Warren Buffett is an optimist and he's really smart. Let's take a look at what he did in the last 10 years since the last recession. In 2008, Buffett injected a ton of money into failing companies such as banks. For example, he put $5 billion in Goldman Sachs and $3 billion in General Electric. If you look at their prices right now, you'll see, yes, they have fallen quite a bit since the beginning of the year, but obviously Warren Buffett made a ton of money on these investments. He also helped finance Mars's purchase of Wrigley for $23 billion in 2008. This investment has also led to substantial profits. In 2011, he actually purchased $5 billion of preferred shares of Bank of America. This was a deal that was actually quite reminiscent of his 2008 investment in Goldman Sachs. It's funny because he said he thought of this idea as he was taking a bath and then he called up Bank of America and within 24 hours, this deal was made. So this $5 billion investment gave him a 6% annualized return on his investment and also came with the option to purchase up to 700 million shares of Bank of America at $7.14 a piece. He would be able to exercise this option anytime Time in the next 10 years. Now, if you look at the stock price of Bank of America after, you can see that it got to the mid 30s by early this year. So of course, Buffett became one of the biggest shareholders of Bank of America, and he made quite a substantial profit 
from the steel. Now it's got me curious, when Warren Buffett is taking baths these days, what is he thinking about and what is he planning on investing in? So overall, Warren Buffett profited about $10 billion over five years after the 2008 recession. He used his large amount of cash and pumped it into companies that were solid but were having problems. He also kept his optimism up and shared this with other investors and this really helped keep the economy afloat. So while he was quite vocal in 2008 with what he was doing, Actually, right now, he's been pretty quiet. Possibly the largest news that we've seen from Warren Buffett recently is when he sold $300 million of Delta stock and $75 million of Southwest stock. Now, this seems like a lot of money, and yes, it is a lot of money, but it actually wasn't a big part of his holdings for these two particular companies. This made the news because people were wondering why would he sell, especially when he had just purchased a ton of Delta stock one month prior. This resulted in him losing quite a bit of money. I mean, if one of the best investors in the world sells a ton of his stock merely one month after buying them and losing money, I too would be thinking, why would he do that? And what was his intention? So I made another video going into these reasons and trying to explain why he might have made the decision to sell so much of his Southwest and Delta stock. I'll post that video link in the description below, but it seems like it was due to financial reasons. The federal government started requiring airlines to actually issue cash refunds instead of just issuing credit refunds. This affected the balance sheet of these companies a lot and I think Warren Buffett saw that that could create a ton of cash flow problems, especially if the travel industry was slow to recover from this pandemic. Also, everyone was super focused on travel and hospitality stocks since they were so affected by this pandemic and their values dropped so much. Though we don't know exactly what Warren Buffett and his team over at Berkshire Hathaway are doing right now, it does seem like they are staying pretty conservative. Yes, he's lived through many recessions, but he hasn't lived through anything that was quite like this. Just last week, 4.4 million people filed for unemployment, bringing the total unemployment numbers to 26.5 million. That's an over 20% unemployment rate. We haven't seen anything like this, and it's also something that's quite hard to predict, since of course this current situation is due to a virus. Yes, we can socially distance ourselves and lower the numbers, but who knows how long this will be a problem, and who knows if there might be a second or third or fourth wave of infections. If there are additional waves of infections, then this could definitely create more and more shutdowns, further affecting the economy. Right now, he does have about $130 billion in cash, and yes, I do think he will be injecting some of this money, at least some of it, into hotel, travel, and entertainment companies who have seen their market valuations plummet. I mean, in the past, this is what he has done. He's saved companies and he's made money in the process. Only this time, I think even he is wary of the implications of this virus and how long this whole situation will play out. Right now, it seems like companies aren't calling Warren Buffett and trying to strike a deal with him like they did in 2008. The government is giving out a lot of free money, both in bailouts and also forgivable PPP loans. I mean, a large majority of the last $2.2 trillion stimulus plan was actually set aside to help out these big corporations. So why call Buffett if the government is giving out all these potentially cheaper loans as well as free grants, since these are obviously a lot cheaper than having an investment company come in and give you money. So we do know that Warren Buffett and his team are probably analyzing a ton of opportunities right now. And I do think that they will pounce on something if the numbers make sense. I do think that we will see some big moves from him, but it is interesting to see how quiet he's been and that he hasn't done anything drastic as of yet. So if you do want to invest in Warren Buffett and his company, you can always buy Berkshire Hathaway stocks such as BRKB or BRKA. Their class B stocks are currently trading in the mid 180s, down from a high of 230 just a couple months ago. And crazily enough, it's actually even dipped down to $159.50 recently. Its current PE ratio is 5.59 based on its current market valuation. I do invest in Berkshire Hathaway because I do trust Buffett and I do trust that he will do something substantial in the coming months. Let's also take a look at some of the other companies that Berkshire Hathaway is heavily invested in. Berkshire currently has huge holdings in Apple, AAPL, American Express, Bank of America, Coca-Cola, Wells Fargo, Delta, Southwest, Bank of New York Mellon, JP Morgan Chase, and Kraft Heinz. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's smart for 
you to actually invest individually in these companies. Just because he has a large holding of these companies doesn't make them automatically a good buy. I definitely want to see what he has to say on May 2nd at his Berkshire virtual summit meeting. I really hope that he gives some insight as to what he's planning on doing. And I also hope that he gives investors a few words of optimism. Optimism is always good, especially in a market like this, when panicking can just create huge and unnecessary drops. So guys, the takeaway, we don't know exactly what Warren Buffett is up to right now. But if we study his past actions and his four main rules in investing, I think we have a pretty good understanding of what he might be looking for. It seems like, yes, he is looking for some type of opportunity in order to inject some cash and make some profit while helping out a company that is currently struggling. As far as your own investment strategy, make sure to have a diversified portfolio, including proven blue chip companies that will help you make it through this pandemic and actually come out ahead in the long run. Don't make any huge bets although it is okay to invest part of your portfolio in something a bit more risky. But just know that yes, you could lose your money and there are lots of safer companies that you could invest in. Also, don't focus just on returns. Also look for value. This is because value decreases far more slowly than money. Money can disappear just like that. Whereas if a company has real value, that value won't really go anywhere. For me, Warren Buffett has taught me just to be more optimistic, especially in the long term, because yes, proven businesses in the history of the United States have all made it through these recessions. So while this recession is a bit unlike the other ones, it's safe to say that yes, we will get through this. Okay. Thanks so much for watching you guys. If you haven't already, make sure to sign up for Webull and claim your two free stocks worth up to $1,400. I use this platform for trading and yes, it is a solid and free way to get into investing. I'll put a link in the description below. If you want to see more stock videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. I make tons of videos about personal finance, investing, and entrepreneurship. Oh, and give this video a like if you found it useful as it will help share this video with more and more people. Thank you so much, happy investing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.